Hello guys, it's the Running Rocker here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to put that optical lens that I did the unboxing on, onto the back of your flip cam, and in this case it's the flip cam Mino Classico, whatever, it's I think not the new one, but the one back, something like that, anyway. Anyway, let's get right to it. First thing you're going to need is your optical lens that you're going to be sticking on at the end. Then you're going to need your step up ring. In this case, I've got a 30.5mm to 37mm step up. And then you're going to need your flip cam. First thing I would advise is, is there's a little bit of a lip on here. And I want it to be really flush to the lens. And right now it's just lifting it up a bit too much. So, you get yourself some sandpaper. You get yourself your step up ring. Place it on there, this flat surface, just gently go round and round in circles till it goes down. When you think you've got further, far enough down, put it on, make sure you've taken all the dust off so you don't get any dust onto the lens itself. Get your flip cam, turn it on, then place this on top and feel and see if it leaves, if there's a black rim around it. I'll record on this camera just to show you. As you see, I need to align it so that the black ring is gone, like so. And then, because I see the black ring is gone, it means that I have gone far enough down. But I think I'm going to go a little bit further just in case. And then we'll get on to actually sticking it onto the camera. So once you've done the sanding, the next thing is to prepare your flip cam for it. My flip cam, let's see if you can see this has the microphone goes all along along here let's see focus up to that It'd be amazing if you could there and there so the first thing I want to do is cover those up with masking tape or sellotape I'm going to be using some masking tape so the glue doesn't go into there once you've done that I've covered it up with masking tape you're going to go on and get your ring some blue tack and you're going to put it on either side of the ring and get it so the ring is fixed with as little blue tack as possible on either side. While you're doing that, you might want to screw this on to make sure when you screw it on, there's not going to be a black ring around your camera. Angle. Lens. You know what I mean. Showed you it before. Here comes the really tricky bit. It's scary, but it has to be done to make sure that you get this properly right. You're going to fix your lens to it. You're going to get yourself a bit of, I'm going to got, got some really cheap stuff. But it's super glue. You're going to use very little of it. But the one that you have to get is the non-run formula. So you can fill in large gaps. All right. This has to be done pretty quickly you fill up where it's making contact fill up where it's making contact here not too much don't overdo it you're gonna lift it up make sure that it's on like I just didn't check that the position is correct and then hold it there making sure that the position's correct. And now we wait. This is me waiting, so what I've done, here's the little shot, I've gone and put something light sandpaper underneath, and then I've lifted it up above my head so I can see. And you can see the image that I'm seeing here. To make sure there's no rim, see there's a heap appearing a room there and then a room there so I'm just making sure that it stays where I need it to be till it's dry you're gonna want to just leave it for a bit to let it dry it's day two of your flip cam modifications and what I've done is I've let the super glue dry and then once the super glue is dried 
had gone and used some contact adhesive to really bond it because that goes rock solid like concrete. Now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is get myself a Stanley knife and just clean it up a bit and then I'm going to use a glue gun once it's hot and fill in all the little bits that still need filling in. So yeah, let's get on with that. Alright, now that pretty much all the main big bits around the edge have been taken off, to clean up the actual side, we're going to just use a cotton cloth, or a shirt, or an old shirt or something, and a bit of white spirit. That will dissolve pretty much, or well, not dissolve, but break down the super glue and the contact adhesive that is rest over residue. Now I don't want this stuff on my hands so I'm putting on some gloves to get yourself some white spirit, a cloth, I'll give you a before and after now actually, let's see. That's how it's looking right now, pretty manky really, but to make this look better all you need to do is get your white spirit, open it up, put a bit on it and then just work at it almost as if you were polishing wood but not quite it comes off right away almost this stuff if you get any super glue or contact adhesive accidentally on the lens if you work at it with this white spirit you'll be able to get it off but fingers crossed that doesn't happen to you. And there you go, once you've used a bit of white spirit, as you see that's pretty much cleaned everything up. Now, to get your hot glue gun or whatever and fill up all those bits so it looks a bit more tidy. Be, care be very careful with this as it's really hot. It's really easy to burn yourself. Next thing you can do is the inner lip inside there to add hot glue in there. If you want, you can place a sticker on top of the lens. Or if you want to be a bit more risky, just go for it. And yeah, but I would advise normally putting a sticker. Just, I've done hot glue stuff so much, I know this thing. Remember not to go over the microphone slots. Once you've done that, you're just going to let the hot glue to rest and to get hard and then I'll come back to you once you clean it all up with a Stanley knife again and then we'll go on to the next step which will be removing the masking tape and the blue tack so your microphones are still working. As you've seen I've cleared out this space for that microphone now I'll go and do the same for this one. Once you've cleared out the microphones, then just pretty much clean it up to how you want it to look. I think what I'm going to do is try and make this black ring give it a scratched effect all around because I quite like the, the look of the ghetto camera look. So just to get myself my sandpaper and do it. Of course, watch out that you don't scratch the lens no matter what. There you have it. So as you see, it's totally, it's not going to go anywhere support its own weight in every way, support its own weight like that as well, there's no way that's coming off there anytime soon. Um, I'll show you a close up of the whole thing and then I'll show you some test footage. You can always see the test footage that I've done already right here, but that test footage there, I didn't actually have it stuck to the lens, but now that it's actually stuck to the lens, Let's go see how it looks like. Let's go.
And there you have it guys, that's how you turn this into this, easily. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please comment, rate and subscribe, and as always, keep on rocking.